I want to just give you an introduction to the soil types that we have in South Africa. South Africa is a very diverse country going from fairly moist environment with some rainfall in some areas higher than 1,400 millimeters per annum, right down to a very dry area with some areas receiving as little as 200 millimeters of rain per annum. So we have this large contrast between moist and dry. We have very large differences in parent material. We have some of the oldest geological formations on the planet in the north of our country. And then we also have very young uh, soils in certain parts of the country. So we have a very wide diversity of soils, but I think we can narrow it down to say about five most common types. In the summer rainfall area, we get highly weathered apedal soils. They are known as apedal soils because they have got no macrostructure that is strongly developed. So they are, to the naked eye, almost structureless, if you want. In other words, there's no macrostructure available to see with the naked eye, just a microstructure. These soils are highly weathered. They have got low base status but very good infiltration capabilities and they make for very good plantation soils. They're not very fertile but it doesn't matter because plantation trees are not that demanding. In vast areas of the country we also have plinthic and hydromorphic soils that form under the influence of water in the profile um, that can be there for periodic uh, events or can be there as a long-lasting feature almost right throughout the year. If we go into the mountainous areas of the escarpment, uh, we find sometimes very shallow lithosols or soils. Uh, lithosols are soils that are on rock, on weathering rock. And we also have some podzols in these areas. Uh, podzols are soils where there's a distinct alluviation of base cations, iron and aluminium, and you can see it as a very bleached horizon and then a zone of accumulation, the so-called podzol B horizon down below. And then last but not least we have a small quantity of soils that are developed from aeolian sands, in other words windblown sands on the coastal strips of the country. So I invite you now to come with me and look through the eyes of a forester at a couple of different soils and we will try and understand what the soil profile can tell us, what the impediments to good plantation growth are all about and if there are any ameliorative actions necessary that we have to take to improve productivity. Let's go. <laughs> 